my opal there. All right, y'all. So for your underlying energy, you guys have the eight of pentacles. So in your work life, in, yeah, in your work life, in your love life, it's a hell of a lot of work. Um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you guys are trying to get through a certain situation. You're really putting your head down and working on the problems. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so you're putting your, you're putting grunt work in. You're putting in your elbow, elbow grease. And it's going to require a lot of patience, too, from what the relationship is looking like. It's hard work right now. Uh, the reason being is I feel like you guys could be with a, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or that you feel like the person that you're with is very um, sociable in a sense that they are very popular, very active. They're very well known. They attract energy. They attract people. And it's kind of a hard thing to kind of keep up with them, maybe. Or you're having to keep up with them, and you're not necessarily seeing a problem with that. Eight, eight, eight Pentacles talks about, you know, really putting in them hours, uh, especially when it comes with, to uh, commitment. So I feel like, yeah, there's some fun. Maybe the person that you're with may be, a, um, you know, um, may be active and you're trying to work on building a relationship with someone that's a little more stable and spending more time with them. That could be... Uh, that could be one of those situations right there because the reason why i'm saying all this is because of the queen of pentacles right i mean not necessarily all the reason why i'm saying because you got the rest of this reading to look at but the current state of being for you guys is the queen of cups it was queen of pentacles rather now the queen of pentacles could be uh also a taurus virgo capricorn uh, but i feel like this is you guys you guys are feeling very stubborn <laughs> stubborn very stable stubborn too i feel like you guys have an idea of where you guys want to be the queen of uh pentacles she's she she's a hard worker she really puts in the hours that she really does the things that she wants to do she maintains the household she maintains her maintains her space she really puts in a lot of work and i feel like with the queen of pentacles i feel like this is really you guys you guys are really putting your heart and soul into this thing um to make it as stable as, as possible you're also very committed feeling also very committed at this time where you guys want to be well you guys you want your person to come up i think really you want this the energy of your partner to kind of rise up um but you really want to resonate with the partner being your partner um this could also be you guys feeling very much in your power very much in control you're wanting to have clarity of thought and really utilize your intellect in your way of communicating um that could be it too uh because this is your card as well this is also a card for aquarius so for some of you guys you guys can deal with aquarius or a libra or another gemini you have the whole dog on Zodiac come up, come up. So, I mean, you know, the only thing we're missing here is a, is cups. So I don't know. I feel like like passion is stability and and communication. That's the thing that's kind of a bit of concern here. But like require, you know, I feel like that's why the hard work is coming up for this whole thing. But the thing that's keeping you from getting to this King of Swords or seeing or you know getting to a place in your relationship where there's the King of Swords here is the six of wands so i don't know i feel like right here at this point i don't know if you've actually seen the work you know the the the, the uh rewards of what your efforts put in pretty much what i'm trying to say i don't think i don't know if you've seen it and i think that it's because you're putting in so much work you're putting a lot of effort or you haven't been putting a lot of effort into the relationship yourselves that you're not seeing this person come out of it. You're not seeing the commitment out of someone else. You know, you'll be working hard here. I feel like you're really feeling committed to this person. Have you been working, are you focusing on practical things? Have you been focusing on work? Um, for some of you guys, you guys have been working on this relationship, but you're not really seeing the results of what you're putting out there. For You guys have been putting, relation, you know, put working in your relationship. So you guys, you have been really focusing on fixing the issues in your relationship so that way you can feel more solid more grounded like you're going somewhere and honestly like you're reaching to reach at the point of where you guys can really start building something long term something that can last you a long time i feel like you haven't been able to see that because your efforts hasn't been cat i mean i don't know it's like your efforts have been you know put it out there and it's not work it's not showing I feel. And the reason why is because of the Ten of Swords. So something has ended pretty badly for some of you guys. And I think that's probably why their efforts are kind of like not really showing up in a way that you want, like really feeling the victory because of the Ten of Swords. Like something happened, something just put, you know, cut out, something devastating possibly happened or ending of a way of thinking here. Okay, but there's also also recovery. Perhaps there's a need to recover from this moment as well, but there hasn't been. There isn't really any recovery here. Now 
the advice is to start something exciting get the passion going really put passion and focus on that really because i feel like you guys are putting a lot of effort into this relationship already right i feel like it's hard work it's constant work and it's honestly when pentacles come up we're not talking about fun we're not talking about anything like that we're talking about longevity right we're talking about building something that lasts us to the future now if you guys are wanting to build a long-term commitment with a person the co the constant work even for you right can get a little bit overbearing it can be kind of like it could constantly turn you into like looking at the looking at your relationship and feeling like okay I'm always working so hard to make sure that the relationship that I'm putting my 50 cents to the relationship, making sure that the constant issues that we have coming up are constantly addressed. But what about the fun, right? What about the passion? I feel like right now you guys, uh, yes, you have been doing a lot of work. You have been putting in the time your partner may be or may not be. Either way, I feel like your relationship is not very fun right now. It's constantly just drilling through the difficult times. So I really feel like right now, take this opportunity, especially this week, to really try to bring that passion back, bring back fun and have dates, go out, you know, do something that really excites the both of you to really revive that passion. Because I see here, there is a lot of work here. There's a lot of yeah, it's, you know, process, but there is not necessarily a lot of enjoyment. There's not a lot of true victory here. And I feel like, yes, the work has been put in, but you're not enjoying this. You're not enjoying the effort. You're not really enjoying the success of your vi of your effort coming in. There's no victory here because it's just so much work. Because you went from ground under, you know, from being on the ground to night. Now you're kind of stable. Now you're pretty cool. Now you're trying to, you know, you're working on stuff. There's solutions. But you're not feeling it like there's where's the passion at? there's excitement so ace of wands is a really good placement for you guys here i feel like to really bring back that spice in your relationship now how you guys are feeling the world you guys have ended a cycle successfully i feel like i feel like yes despite the ten of swords coming in wrecking havoc you know you know some devastation coming up i feel like you still came up with a solution to work through it i feel like a lot of you guys you are recovering at this time and you guys are really pushing through it so you do feel like this it's this whole relationship in itself is a really it's a great blessing so there's nothing like how you feeling on that um so I really feel like Gemini, you are feeling that success. Like you feel like this relationship is a success. You're very happy with it and you're ready to take it to the next level. Like emotionally, you're ready to take this relationship onto the next level. And I do see that here with the hopes and fears. Like you have, you could recognize the future with this person. You recognize um, building something amazing long term with this person, moving in together, doing whatever, right? You really see a future with this individual or this or the people that you're dating or this, you know, because for, for a lot of you guys, you may not be dating one person you could be dating multiple people right that's it that's the way of the world nowadays so that's cool so you guys may see a future with the people or the person that you're with and that's cool now your outcome is going to require you to have strength now there i don't know exactly what's going on i do feel like this is all, all not only just pushing through the difficult times because again the eight of pentacles is a lot of work but you're also trying to bring back the passion bring in that you know that that spice and i really don't think this is not necessarily i don't think this is necessarily just pushing through and getting through the difficult times i really feel like allowing the animal side of you to purge because why else would the advice be the ace of wands right if you're meant to just kind of keep pushing through keep fighting through keep getting to the end keep working on those issues you're almost there yeah definitely but how to get there it possibly has to to do with being that inner person being that inner, inner animal getting that out letting those emotions flow getting that excitement out really feeling passionate about your relationship really wanting to express the love that you have and that passion that you have for your partner and that's totally okay you still working on it. You're just taking a break. It's fun to take breaks. It's fun to enjoy the relationship that you have. It's fun to love on your partner. And it's fun to it's fine to totally bring in something that brings you two together, especially something passionate. Even even if it's intimacy, you want to have some something going on to bring the emotions. Uh, to bounce the emotions out as well it's a hard thing to do especially when you have issues in your relationship that you're trying to work out but trust me it's a total reward it's, but outcome is showing that you're not only balancing your inner strength and put going through and working hard to, you know to uh, to resolve some of these situations or some of these um some of these things that you're building and it may not even be problems and maybe that you're trying to get to a place where you're stable in your relationship that there's problems maybe you guys are trying to work to move like i said move in together do something like that right you're working very diligently you're very focused on career stuff 
practical stuff right now. So it could have, this may have not have anything to really do with the relationship itself. It could be that you're working outside to try to get to a certain period where you can be with the King of Swords, your king. Okay, but and this is for men and women. This isn't or this is this is not sexual. Like it's not like um. It's not geared toward any sex. So I feel like, you know, it doesn't even have to be like that. You just may not feel like, yes, you see in the reward, maybe you, maybe you see the rewards of the work that you're doing, but you're not feeling that connection. Maybe the connection may be a little severed. Maybe you're not feeling that, like, like you know, there's a lot of stuff going on in your love life. So you can do something here. Bring that spice back. It's just focusing on what's exciting and bringing that excitement into your life by starting something new, being passionate with your partner, things like that. Let's go ahead and look at your wisdom of the oracle for the week. See what else is, what other messages we could get. Yeah, guys, I am still under the weather, so yeah, it's cold. Stick it with me. Um, I don't really know why, but hey, hey, everything happens for a reason. So you have TikTok, guys, for this week, and TikTok is talking about, you know, there's no time like the present, right? Um, it may feel like sometimes your time may get away from you or um, there isn't a lot of opportunity you know, time or you know in the environment so you really have to like if you ever feel like you have to really focus on work and be like you can always repair what's broken in a relationship it's something about it right it's something about on you know like constant emotional support constant emotional um, work. It's more important in a relationship than it is to kind of make sure the finances are good and things like that, okay? Because, you know, money is money, but your relationship is fragile, it's precious, and you really want to keep the morale of that relationship going. So, don't worry about time. Don't worry about the future so much. Try to be in the moment as much as you can. Um, and I really feel like with TikTok coming up, it's like, it's very similar to here and now, but it has its own thing. It's like it's talking about utilizing the time that you have um, and really kind of working with working with what you have and enjoying everything at the at the moment. Okay. Let's see what the whispers of love comes up with. All right, guys, you have ask for help. For a lot of you guys here, it says, what is it, what is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. Hey, man. If you are struggling right now, then definitely take some time, you know, don't be afraid to ask for help. But most importantly, um, I feel like don't be afraid to take a break either. You're going to get to your goals. You're, you have to manifest from a, um, pot, you know, emotionally um, high vibration. So... It's good to have a good vibration when you manifest it. So if a break is needed, hey man, people will be all right. Take your break. Don't worry about nobody else. 